Good morning, sunshines. I am gonna drive and talk to you, but I'm not gonna look at you. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so it is Friday morning. Good morning, sunshine. How are you? It is 7.39 in the a.m. and it's about 85 degrees in balmy Houston, Texas. And I am on Garage Sale Hunt. And I'll probably do some other chatter at ya. So, I hate this angle by the way, but we'll just ignore it for now. Because I hate when I feel like you're looking at my nose. Not at my nose, but up my nose. <sighs> I cleaned it well, but if I didn't, this is this is my thing. If you are a friend, you will tell me. You will tell me if I had a booger or if I have spinach stuck in my teeth, because you wouldn't want me to go out like that, right? And get embarrassed. Now, I'm gonna throw my my Randy out there. He is so concerned, he doesn't want me to feel uncomfortable or embarrassed that he won't tell me, because he doesn't want me to feel embarrassed. So we've had many a discussion. Sorry about that. Many, many a discussion about, babe, you gotta, you gotta have your wife represent nicely, you know? Oh, runner. Um, you can't do that, you know? You, I mean, unless he's trying to make himself look better, right? Like, then people will say, like, what's this Randy doing with this girl? She can't even get herself together. Like, she's got food in her teeth and, like, a lettuce in her hair. You know? What is he doing? I don't think he's like that, though. But you never know. I mean, you don't know the secret person behind the, you know. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, as I drive, I have hit one garage sale so far this morning. And... I did okay. It's nor it was one that I was going to drive by because it was a bunch of clothes, but then I saw some framed pictures. Um, and I'm not really selling pictures, but they looked vintage, and so I was like, oh, okay. There were things in boxes, you know, you can dig in boxes, and that's always good. So I went and I found <coughs> found this Vera Bradley messenger bag, purple. And from what little research I have done on Vera Bradley in the past. I tend to notice that the blue ones do better. I know everybody has their pattern. I don't see a lot of purple Vera Bradley though. Maybe somebody's like bananas for purple, right? Because I don't see a ton of that. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's real. It's, it's, do people, I mean, I guess people fake Vera Bradley, but I, I feel fairly confident that it's real. I'll have to double check because again, I don't know. I paid $3 for it. It's not bad, I think. It's not bad. You know what it reminds me of now that I'm looking at it? It's purple, it's paisley, uh, mm, right? It's like total prince bag. Purple paisley, oh yeah. But I can't keyword spam, can you keep? But people that might be searching for the purple paisley stuff, right? Because if you put prince in there, that would be keyword spamming from what I understand. <laughs> So, okay, now we are headed towards second garage sale. These folks had their signs up yesterday. I'm scooching you. And it said they started at seven, so. And I am, I'm an early bird, but we, you know, I hear people talk about early bird, people get mad about early birds, but I've only come across that a couple of times here. Most people don't care. They just want you to buy their stuff and get it out of here before the sun gets up into the sky. Ah, I'm turning around a big curvy corner. Oh, oh my gosh, it's the cookie jar guy. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. <laughs> there's a there's a place over here. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know why I care. Am I should I turn here? I think I should turn here. I don't know. The, the sign the signs dropped off, but I remember where I saw the signs yesterday. And I'm thinking this is right. And if it's not, then I'll just not be going the right way. What was I saying? I forgot. What's new? Okay, here's another sign. It's pointing that way. Is this the same sign? I'm not even sure this is for the same garage sale. What was I saying? Oh, the cookie jar guy. So yeah, I, I bought a bunch of cookie jars off this guy and it is what Oh my gosh, these people's their signs are so horrible. They're Ah, you don't see me. You just see the top of my head. 
Okay, I see the garage sale now. I don't think this is the same one from the signs that I saw from the yesterday. Ooh, more clothes. Mm, mm. I'm doing the slow drive by. It's a little old white lady though, so that's always a good sign for me anyway. I'm gonna do it, right? I'm gonna do it. There's another garage sale. I'm going to that one first because I see toys. Boom, toys. Cause you know what I say. Got any Legos? I see a trike. Oh yeah. Not that I'm buying the trike, but I see dolls. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Ooh, okay. Get this show back on the road. From Italy. The engines of our ingenuity. Episode number three billion twenty-seven. Okay. Sue. Sue, Sue, let's fix this. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind. Do I need to edit this? Girls, you can understand. Boys, it's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> did I finish telling you about the cookie jar guy? I don't think I did. And now I'm in a, oh, I think I go this way. Um, so I bought a bunch of cookie jars, which was amazing, because he sold me a ton of cookie jars for five bucks a piece. Some I kept, some I sold, some I'm, just have forever you know but it's one of those things I guess I need to pass the love along the time has come I know where I am now this is good I'm in the back of my dad's neighborhood somehow it all got connected Woo. um what was I gonna say oh yeah so I went to these two garage sales there were two back-to-back the one <clears throat> did not have any Legos. <laughs> I'm always looking for Legos. <clears throat> so I went over there. They had some Cabbage Patch Kids. They look like the older ones, but they were drawn on and all kinds of mess. So I didn't even, and I, you know, I, I'm cleaning out my workroom. So I'm trying to be super selective. The second one, clothes, romance novels, things like that. Uh, again, not, not a ton. So it's, it's cool. I mean, I'm looking for jewelry, always. I'm looking for Legos, new in box stuff, toys and things that I could send into Amazon. And, and then the surprises, right? Because you're always looking for the treasure surprise. Which, okay, tell me what you think about this. I like watching American Pickers. I like it. And don't get me wrong. But I feel like I get more when I watch Antiques Roadshow. I love Antiques Roadshow. Um, I've been watching them. Oh, okay, can I get over? Will they let me over? Hang on. Okay. Um, so I've been watching Antiques Roadshow and I find like I get these little gems that I just stick in the back of my head like, ooh, if I saw that, this lady bought this picture. I can't remember the artist's name. But it looks like a painting that a kid would have done. You know, bright colors, really, you know, I don't know. It looked really juvenile, almost. And it turns out it was painted by, and I can't think of the lady's name, a lady who is from New, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, Louisiana, for sure. And she was known as the Grandma Moses of the South. And you probably are screaming her name at me right now. There's my other glasses. Um, there's a deck. There's two decks. Anyway, and it ended up being worth thousands of dollars. But in a thrift store, and it's like the age on it's like from the 70s or something. Ooh, look at that. You know, this one was like her initials and then it said 71. So, you know, for all you know, it's something some kid could have painted. I don't know. You know, so I just love that I get these little nuggets or like this cat. There was this big yellow cat, you know, figure. It looked like just a ceramic figure. And it ended up being done in the late 1800s, like 1880s, 1890s, by one of the guys that's, that was really foremost in the Art Nouveau time period. I was like, what? I mean, this orange cat looked like bananas. But it was great. I mean, it was so gaudy and just amazing. Following the garage.
garage sale signs. I am now officially in the neighborhood that is the, I call it the Bermuda Triangle neighborhood because I always get lost in this neighborhood. Always. So, I enjoy watching Antiques Roadshow. And that's what I do like when the kids finally let me have the remote. Or when I've had it and I say, that's it. It's mommy's turn. No more plum bob. There's only so much you can take a plum bob. And Teen Titans go, oh look, they did so good. There's those signs. People are getting smart and they're getting out early. I remember when I would come out like, this is last year. I mean, I'd come out at seven and I would be, you know, not, there'd be a few people out. Oh yeah. This one's got still a lot of clothes. All right, I'm going now. There I go, hang on. Okay. Can you see me sweating already? You can't see anything, can you? I have this glowing light behind me. Alrighty, how to get out of here now? Where am I? Where am I? Oh yeah, I'm in the black hole neighborhood. You know, all these neighborhoods start looking alike, right? Because all these, these are house constructions, all the same, and so you just, unless you're really paying attention, you know, then you don't know where you are. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, how do I get out of here? Oh, look at the puppy. Okie dokie, okie dokie, let's think. I am not one of those people that has an internal compass. You know, I wasn't born with it, like some people. Um, <laughs> I, I went to this garage sale and they had some stuff, right? They had some toys, new and sealed. But they, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get lost. Um, but I'll just talk to you while I find my way. They knew the prices on them. I mean, they had a new and sealed. It was Iron Man, but it was Mega Blocks. Look, I'm in a cul-de-sac. Oh gosh. Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> and I can't use my GPS because I'm talking to you, which is more important, right? Um. So yeah, Lego Mega Blocks. No, they were not Lego. They were Mega Blocks, Iron Man. They were new and sealed, which is cool, but she wanted $15. And I did, I scanned them. Usually I don't whip it out at the garage sales, but I did this time. I whipped it right out and I scanned it. <laughs> but it was like 20 something dollars. Another cul-de-sac. Oh. See what I mean? Don't hit me, don't, don't run into me, loser. You're going the wrong way. Sorry, road rage. He was driving the wrong way, by the way. Okay, just stay still. I'm a rabid dog. Okay. <laughs> I think sometimes, where did I, where did that come from? <laughs> I'm a rabid dog. Don't move. I'm a rabid dog. Um, I forget what I was saying now. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep, or I need more coffee. This is this is where the comedy gold happens, right? I'm going straight this time. Okay, God, I don't know where I am. Oh Lord, help me, please. It's cool. It's cool. If I end up in another cul-de-sac, then we'll know that I. It's like the Twilight Zone, and I'm in the neighborhood of nothing but cul-de-sacs <sighs> with no exit. Maybe I should have taken that one. That looked like promising. That, uh oh. We're going for it. We're going for it. Okay. Okay, so she knew the price. <laughs> $15. I did. I took out my phone. I scanned it. And it was going for like $25 on Amazon. But then it's Mega Blocks. So you know it's not like... I mean, the, the people are not going to really be... Unless there are Mega Block people out there. I don't know. But, you know, it's Iron Man. So that's maybe a draw. So... I didn't get it, obviously. Um, and then she had a scout uniform, bear. My, my son's a bear this year. And I told her, you know, I was asking her how much for the pants and the shirt, because scout uniform stuff is expensive. But the, the, the neckerchief and the hat, they changed the design, so it's not the same. So I just said, I just want the shirt and the hat and the pants. And she's like, well, it's a whole package. And I'm like, well, it's, they don't, he can't wear this hat and neckerchief because it's changed, you know, of course. So you have to buy new ones. You can't like use your big brothers anymore. But they may not change it again. We'll see. 
but she, she wanted 20 bucks for the pants and the shirt. And yeah, they're expensive, I know, at the, but I don't go to garage sales to spend 20 bucks on a pair of pants and a shirt. I just don't. I did get three games, which is unusual for me. I don't know that I got them to sell. I'm safe. I have escaped the black hole, the twilight zone. There's the police. The Bermuda Triangle. Okay, my alarm went off telling me it's, you need to eat breakfast. I'm bad about eating breakfast. <sighs> And I didn't bring any breakfast, which I know better, right? That's garage sailing 101. Bring food with you so you don't buy kolaches and donuts from the little kids that are cute selling them at the garage sales. I'm good though, I haven't bought anything. All right, I'm skipping that one. Oh, okay. I am going down, there's a back street that runs through the part of my town that I usually find really good stuff. And I'm ignoring all these little ones off to the side here because I have my eye on the prize. Yes, I do. I feel like I was probably in the middle of telling you something and then I talked about something else and then I forgot what I was telling you. But I will show you the games I got. Maybe that's what I was talking about because I'm coming to a stop sign or stop light rather. I got, what was I just saying about Plum Bob? I got a Plum Bob game for the boys. This is Wii, Truth or Square. It's good, no scratches. The case is, you know, messed up. But anyway, I just said I was getting tired of Plum Bob. Um, we have a Wii and we have a Wii U. I need to find out if our if Wii games plays on the Wii U as well. I don't know. Close. And then I got this one. Sonic and the Black Knight. It still has the manual and everything. Come on, come out so I can take a look at you. Looks really good. Um, and again, this one, I'm going to look this one up because I just haven't. But I, it was Sonic. I've never seen this game before. I don't buy usually a lot of games because I don't know anything about them. And then this one I got for sure for me and the boys. Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. That one doesn't have the manual. And the disc is loose, I better look at it. Um, but, yeah, I love Wallace and Gromit, Shaun the Sheep. They're amazing. So funny, so funny. I'm turning, hang on. Um, yeah, so, that's for me. No, the disc is not loose. Okay, Margaret, you're seeing things. Uh, how's the hair, you guys? You gotta tell me. Sometimes I do this, and then I look back later. And I'm like, I can't even. Sh I can't even share that with you. I did. I look like I just rolled out of bed. And... Okay. <sighs> so kittens. We have kittens, and they're really cute. They're really. They're feeling better. I don't know if you. You know, I shared. We got the kittens. And then we had to take them to the vet that same day because one of them started oozing green. Mm, don't be distracted, Margaret. Keep your eye on the prize. I see another garage sale sign. But I know that's like not such a great neighborhood. Generally, I don't find a lot there. It's hit or miss. Um, so the kittens are feeling better. One of them, Pancake, is feeling way better. And he is adorable. Mimi's really cute too, but I'm beginning to think she may be a little mm, schizophrenic. <laughs> Which you may say, surprise, it's a cat, duh. I mean, but Pancake is like a little teddy bear. And Mimi is, and, and I'm not talking about schizophrenic schizophrenic. I'm talking about cat schizophrenic. I think you know the difference. I think you do. So... <laughs> Or, or, you know how you hear about people, they smoke weed and they're like really laid back, but then some people smoke weed and they get like paranoid and freaked out. 
I think she may be like that with catnip because I sprayed this morning, I sprayed their tower thing, you know, for them to scratch on and stuff with the catnip. And all of a sudden, she was like, she didn't recognize her brother. He came up to her and she puffed up all big and like turned to the side and puffed up her tail and was like, <laughs> at him, you know, and he's like, what happened? Wait, what? You know, and he goes like creeping towards her, like careful, like he's never seen this before. What's going on, sister? Um, and she wouldn't stop. Like she didn't snap out of it. Like she was like, I don't know you. You better get away from me. The cops are coming. I'm not going to be caught with this. You know, this is on you, brother. And uh, yeah, so even then, like I picked her up and she hissed, which is weird because she's been real floppy and just like pancake. You pick them up, they don't even put their claws out, they're floppy, they're petty, huggy, lovey. No, she, I, she hissed when I picked her up, which I probably shouldn't have. I told the boys to leave them alone, but I was like, girl, what's going on? You gotta snap out of it. And then she went and hid for a minute. So I think maybe catnip. Okay, girl running around the corner. <clears throat> um, maybe catnip is not her thing. I just followed. There were two garage cell signs pointing this way. Two. None. I see none. All right. I'm turning around. And if they want me, I mean, this is the thing. Did they put those garage cell signs? And then you have to go across, like, onto the other side because there's, like, a major road in the town? No. No, 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 no. That's not cool. It needs to be on this side. I'm turning back around now. I'm staying the course. Um, okay. And then I was going to tell you something else, and I can't remember either. So we'll see if she's, you know, maybe the weed will wear off when, by the time I get home. Catnip. <clears throat> but seriously, I need to look this up. Because, and then my husband was like, well, maybe it's because it was a synthetic cat's catnip. The lady told us there's this catnip spray, right? You spray it on the stuff that you want the cats to mess with. And then hopefully they leave your furniture alone. <clears throat> So, we'll see. Oh, this is such a pretty street. It's got all these big oak trees that, like, make a bridge, you know, a covering or whatever over the street. It's really pretty. You lie, garage sale sign. You lie. I was just down there. I saw nothing. Nothing. And it's 8. It's not like I'm super early. It's 8.15 now, almost. It's cool. That's fine. So, also, kids have been home for summer, forever, apparently, and I don't get anything done, and I was just messaging my friends this morning and telling them, I miss you, you know, because they're all in a big, we have like a big long chat, you know, on Facebook, like your Facebook chats or whatever, and they all talk all the time, and normally I'm in there, oh, great, so... Oh, it's a big one. Oh, I've been to this one before. Do I want to do it? They're like, no, I'm not skipping. Uh-uh. <laughs> I've been to that one before. And they sell, like, stuff, like, for antique mall prices. And then this lady had all these dresses that she was saying were handmade. But then it was, like, made in China tag in there. I'm like, you know what? Just sell your dresses. Don't say you made them. Unless you went to China, made them, brought them back. And just forgot that you left your Made in China tag in there. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> there are people that are like pathological liars. And I'm learning this. I don't understand it at all. Because obviously I have no filter. And I just say whatever. And I can't lie. And if I'm mad at you, you know it. And if I'm happy with you, I know it. And I'm like a golden retriever puppy that's like super happy to see you. Or, you know, like you read the emotions all over everything. Right now. Um, I and obviously I, I cannot stay on topic either so and now I don't even remember what we were talking about it'll come back to me I'm confident was it the pathological liars thing but it was something else before that I need more coffee. Coffee is good for my brain to 
help me remember or to move, keep me moving so fast that I don't remember that I forgot something. I'm still trying to remember what I was talking to you about. Oh, my friends. That's right. See, I knew it'd come back to me. Anyway, I messaged them this morning. I was like, I miss you. I miss you. I don't talk to you anymore. And it's not because I don't love you. I don't like to be on the phone around, like in front of my kids all the time. I just don't. I, I don't. So, hang on. They've got washer dryer, a bike, kids bike, and golf set. I'm turning back around though, just in case. It's like, come inside, we've got more inside. Turning around. So yeah, I was messaging them and just saying how much I'm like, I'm not, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm neglecting you. I'm, you know, the kids are home forever. And they'll be going back to school in like a month. Hopefully we're still friends in a month. Okay. I'm looking to see. They should have a sign that's like, more inside. Should I go look? Should I just do it? I'm looking again. I'm looking. No, there's not even like tables or anything set up in the garage. So, <sighs> it's okay. We're being selective anyway. So, yeah, that was it. That's not right. Don't do that. Just put it on Craigslist. You know? I am now entering Tanya Thrifty Treasures territory. I've passed. I've passed the line. I wonder if she's out. I wonder if I'll see her. Yes. There's a certain point. There's like an invisible line. I don't know if she knows about it, but I do. <laughs> no, I, I don't, I'm, I totally tease about, about territory, but it's just kind of funny. Like, I always think, like, after I get to this point, I'm entering, like, Tanya's part of the town, you know? She lives in the adjoining town. You know, they're like that. You can, you know, I live, you can't tell the difference because there's not a break between the two towns. There it is. I'm entering Tanya's town. Tanya's town. Alrighty, I'm gonna hang up now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.